Well, there's a lot to unpack in this story. But first of all, one thing that I want to know is why are so many students from private medical college so hesitant about, you know, cracking neat PG or getting a good rank? Why do they ask, yaar, main private se ho, main kar kya? what exactly is the reason for um, this lack of confidence? Like how, we, so basically my question is, see, how is this private medical college different from a uh, GMC that I see other than obviously the fees? Uh, a very important factor which is there, which I have uh, observed in my colleagues, as well as currently I'm observing in my juniors too. And I also had this thing. Number one is uh, our NEET UG results. So if I'm in a private uh, medical college right now, I definitely did not have uh, a rank or marks good enough to get me into a government college. My NEET UG did not go that well as per my expectations, which I had while I was preparing for NEET UG. I have that baggage with me right now while I'm into the college or I'm once I'm again preparing for an all India exam, no matter it is NEET PG now, an exam which is different altogether with, you know, lesser candidates appear. I know the difficulty level is more, but there are a lot, a lot of other factors too. But one important factor is this. Secondly, once you are in a private medical college, uh, you, uh, the environment also matters a lot. I know uh, the uh, that uh, some people say that academics are very good in private medical college and the infrastructure is very good, but it depends on college to college also. Not every private medical college which you are into has uh, uh, has excellent academics or excellent infrastructures. And um, again, uh, the, the kind of people you are surrounded with, uh, the kind of seniors you have, all these factors are very important. So uh, sometimes people do not have good uh, good enough seniors to guide them through the entire process. I mean, sometimes people have to do it independently. Like I did, did it independently. I did not. I only had hardly one or two seniors. And those two got, uh, you know, cleared neat PG and got into their residencies and very good colleges. So I, I was a little hesitant, you know, on constantly pestering them about my queries. So I was like, let me see, let me do it on my own and let me see what happens. And But I always made sure that I be that senior, which I did not have and I help out my juniors. Uh, and the other thing is um, the, the pressure. If at all you take it. There are certain people who do not take this pressure at all, but some people do take this pressure. There is a constant pressure over your head of proving yourself. I know you are in a medical college right now. You are going to be a doctor uh, five, six years down the line. You will have that degree, but still you constantly have that pressure on you that I need to prove myself that I am equivalent to that person who is sitting in a government medical college as me and I am as good as them. And uh, it happens. It does happen. It it happens. Uh, I have seen it happening uh, with a lot of colleagues of mine and even a lot of juniors of mine. Uh, so all these factors do play a lot of role while you are preparing for an all India exam. The confidence boost does not. Um, I say that I always had that caliber, but maybe I lack that confidence. This is something which I you know tell people and which I uh, believe that I, I I knew that I had a caliber. Yeah, I'll be able to crack this exam. I I'm uh, good enough. I I have been uh, m- making sure that I my concepts are good. That I'm reading all the time. That I'm you know uh, I'm in touch with my studies. But maybe I did not have that confidence. So that confidence factor is something which uh, really matters a lot. But I do not believe it that private medical college students are not able to do well. I mean, I have done quite well. Even I have friends who have achieved very nice ranks. One of my very close friends have, has achieved the rank of 4292. Another friend of mine has achieved, achieved the rank of 1717 from my own college. So uh, I, I'm telling you that uh, people do it. And uh, it's not that they don't. So I, I don't think so. There is uh, There should be the stigma and there should be this doubt in people if you're in a private medical college that you won't be able to make it. You will be able to do it. Surely you and your friends are definitely the living example of how you can succeed even being in private medical college in any All India exam. 